Okay, so go to your Squarespace admin, click inventory. Bear with me, my computer's slow. And my fan is blowing, so ignore the noise in the background. This video will be really quick, so just bear with me. Okay, so we're in the inventory. We're going to select a product. Okay, so we're going to choose the Get Teardrop Ring. Click Select. At the bottom of the screen, it will say, like, uh, you can export it. So you won't see it right now, but it basically says export one item or export selected item. And then click export. And then what will happen is you will get the CSVs file okay, for that item or whichever items you select. You could even do all your items at once by clicking export tool. But we're just going to do one item for now. Okay, so I've got that in my finder. Then we're gonna head over to Shopify. Go to your Shopify admin. Um, then go to apps. You should already download this app. It's called Store Importer. Okay, you can see the icon there. Be easy to find. So click on Store Importer from your apps inside of Shopify. And this is gonna take forever to load. So once you've done that, what you essentially need to do is drag and drop your CSV file into the store importer. Now the reason this is important is because the store importer will also include all your SEO, all your photos and images. It will pretty much take exactly what was on Squarespace into Shopify. So that's saving you God knows how much time. Um, so I did it on this website with about 30 items or 20, 20 items, 25 items. So you can see that's from my previous one. So your page would look like this if you've never done it before. And then you just add the file here. So drag your CSV file right there. Allow it to upload. Sorry, everything's slow right now. So continue, upload, import. So then click import. Which I'm, I'm, re I'm recording my voice after I've recorded the video. So, so yeah, click import. And then it will upload. And then once it's successfully imported, you can go to your products and actually see it within your products. And then you can do what you want with it. You can add it to a collection, you can list it as a product on your website and so on. So it's successfully imported. And then I'll go over to the left, click products, scroll down, and you will now see the baguette teardrop ring at the very top. So I can just use that in my store now as a product. So you see it's got all the writing, all the images. It even has a tag, but sometimes they miss the tags. So you want to um, delete or rewrite the tags. But yeah, that's how you do it. Um, yeah, and I'm loving Shopify. I've, I've done the transition. The, I've tran transferred everything over to Shopify because Squarespace with the mobile phone speed is just awful. And uh, I'm going to do a video all about Squarespace versus Shopify. So look out for that. Okay. And also be sure to check out my website, uh, LondonMinx, M-I-N-X.com. And check out my cool products there.